Get ready to embark on a journey through Canada's captivating business history, revealing the untold stories of companies that have shaped the nation's economy. From humble origins to industry giants, these businesses have overcome challenges, embraced innovation, and played a vital role in Canada's growth and prosperity. Let's discover the origins of these trailblazing companies, tracing their humble roots and the visionary entrepreneurs who dare to dream big. I'm Ashley Restikas at the Sarnia Lampton Business Development Corporation, and this is From Roots to Giants, the Canadian Business Chronicles. Our journey begins with the Hudson Bay Company, a true pioneer of Canadian commerce. Founded in 1670, the company was granted exclusive trading rights in the vast territory known as Rupert's Land. Fueled by the fur trade, the Hudson Bay Company established trading posts across the wilderness, forging relationships with Indigenous communities and becoming an integral part of Canada's early history. The Hudson's Bay Company is one of the oldest and most influential companies in Canadian history. It played a significant role in the exploration, colonization, and economic development of Canada. HBC was granted a royal charter by King Charles II of England in 1670, giving it a monopoly over the fur trade in the vast region known as Rupert's Land. The company was established with the objectives of exploiting the fur resources of North America and establishing trade relationships with Indigenous peoples. Its primary focus was on the area surrounding Hudson Bay, which became its namesake. It is important to acknowledge that the Hudson Bay Company and the fur trade in general significantly influenced Indigenous communities. The engagement in the fur trade led to substantial shift where many Indigenous peoples abandoned their customary ways of life and economic systems, becoming dependent on European-made goods and food for their survival. In its early years, the Hudson Bay Company faced numerous challenges and hardships. The company's fur traders ventured deep into the wilderness, establishing remote trading posts and enduring harsh conditions. They faced competition from rival French fur traders, conflicts with Indigenous peoples, and the difficulties of navigating vast and unchartered territories. The company also had to contend with changing market dynamics and fluctuations in fur prices. Additionally, the HBC faced significant pressure from competitors and rivalries, including the Northwest Company, leading to a series of mergers and acquisitions in the late 18th and early 19th century. Despite these challenges, The Hudson's Bay Company achieved several notable successes. Its extensive network of trading posts expanded westward, reaching as far as the Pacific coast. The company played a crucial role in exploring and mapping large parts of Canada, making significant contributions to geographic knowledge. It established relationships with indigenous communities, facilitating trade and cooperation. The HBC also pioneered new transportation routes, such as the York Factory Express and the Brigade Trail. This enabled the movement of goods and personnel across vast distances. Moreover, the company's success in the fur trade led to significant profits and economic growth. The Hudson's Bay Company has had a profound impact on the Canadian economy. Its fur trade activities were a major driver of economic development, attracting settlers and stimulating regional growth. The HBC's trading posts served as hubs of commerce and cultural exchange, connecting Indigenous peoples, European settlers, and later waves of immigration. The company's dominance in the fur trade helped shape Canada's early colonial history, contributing to the establishment of British control over the region. As the company expanded its operations, it diversified into other sectors, including agriculture, shipping, and retail. Today, the Hudson Bay Company continues to operate as a prominent retail corporation, with its department stores being a fixture in many Canadian cities. 
As Canada evolved, so did the Hudson Bay Company. It transitioned from fur trading to operating department stores, including the iconic Hudson Bay stores that still dot the Canadian landscape today. With its recognizable stripes, the company has become a symbol of Canadian heritage. In today's market, the Hudson Bay Company remains a prominent retail corporation in Canada. While its historical focus was primarily on the fur trade, the company has evolved over the years to adapt to changing market dynamics and consumer preferences. Today, the Hudson Bay Company continues to thrive in retail industry, offering a wide range of products and services. Its commitment to quality, customer experience, and philanthropic endeavors has solidified its position as one of Canada's retail giants. Next, let's step into the intoxicating world of brewing, where we uncork the captivating story of Molson Brewery. Picture this, a young John Molson, just 18 years old, braving a treacherous journey on a leaky ship from England to Canada, driven by a burning desire for a better beer in a new land. In 1786, fueled by his unwavering determination, John Molson laid the foundation for what would become the oldest brewery in North America and the second oldest company in Canada. From its modest beginnings, John's small brewery soon blossomed into a booming enterprise. With each batch of beer crafted to perfection, he poured his brewing expertise, entrepreneurial spirit, an unwavering commitment to quality into every barrel, earning the respect and admiration of beer enthusiasts far and wide. But John's story doesn't end there. As the brewery flourished, so did his influence on Canadian society. He became a prominent figure, contributing to the growth and development of the country he now called home. From his pioneering efforts in refrigeration technology to his support for Canadian troops during times of war, John Molson's impact extended far beyond the brewing industry. His legacy continues to ripple through time, ingrained in the very fabric of Canada's cultural and economic tapestry. From its Montreal roots, Molson Brewery rose to prominence as a household name celebrated for its exceptional brews and unwavering commitment to brewing excellence. With a dedication to quality ingredients and innovative techniques, Molson quickly earned the trust and loyalty of beer enthusiasts. Along its journey, Molson Brewery faced its fair share of challenges, from fierce competition with local breweries to limitations in transportation and refrigeration technology. The road to success was not without its obstacles. The Prohibition era in Canada further tested the brewery's resilience, forcing them to adapt and find alternative avenues for growth. Yet, Molson's determination and adaptability propelled them forward. They not only weathered the storms, but also expanded their reach. Today, Molson stands as one of Canada's largest and most respected breweries both nationally and internationally. But Molson's impact goes beyond their brews. In 1927, they took a pioneering step by establishing the first ever bottle return program, showcasing their early commitment to sustaining and waste reduction, a legacy that continues today. Molson Brewery had an, has had a significant impact on the Canadian economy. As a major employer, it has created jobs directly and supported employment in its supply chain. By sourcing ingredients from Canadian farmers, Molson has contributed to agricultural growth. Its success and prominence in the brewing industry have attracted tourism and benefited the hospitality sector. Through marketing efforts, sponsorships, and involvement in sports and cultural events, Molson has generated brand recognition and additional revenue. The company's commitment to social responsibility is evident in its community initiatives and charities. 
Overall, Molson Brewery's influence on the Canadian economy is undeniable, making it an integral part of Canada's economic fabric. Today, Molson Brewery stands tall as a testament to the audacious spirit of John Molson and his unwavering commitment to crafting exceptional beers. From traditional classics to innovative brews, Molson Brewery remains a revered name in the world of brewing, captivating beer lovers across the nation and beyond. Today, as Molson Coors Beverage Company, the company continues to thrive in the global market, standing as a symbol of excellence and innovation. Its adaptability, diverse portfolio, and unwavering commitment to quality have solidified its position as a leading force in the brewing industry. With every sip of the Molson beer, we toast to the remarkable journey of this iconic Canadian brewery and its lasting impact on the Canadian economy and the world of beer. Our next stop, the captivating world of Bank of Montreal, a financial institution that has played a pivotal role in shaping the Canadian economy for over two centuries. Founded in 1817, it played a vital role in fueling the growth and development of our nation. Initially established to support trade and commerce, the bank facilitated financial transactions, provided loans, and issued currency during Canada's early years. As the Bank of Montreal, now known as BMO Financial Group, it expanded its reach, serving as the official banker for the Government of Lower Canada and forging partnerships with international institutions. Through strategic expansion, including the acquisition of the Bank of the People in Toronto and the establishment of branches in the Maritimes, New York and London, the bank solidified its presence and became a key financier for industries like lumber, railways, and industrial enterprises. Its pivotal role in financing projects such as the Canadian Pacific Railway propelled its growth in investment banking and led to the establishment of branches in major cities. The Bank of Montreal's significance in the banking industry was further solidified by its participation in the creation of the Canadian Bankers Association, serving as the country's clearing centre for interbank transactions. As Canada's principal banker, it took on the responsibility of selling the government's bonds in London, cementing its position as a cornerstone of the Canadian financial system. As Canada ventured into new horizons, the Bank of Montreal boldly followed suit, extending its financial services to individuals, businesses, and communities nationwide. Throughout economic ups and downs, this steadfast institution stood by industries, infrastructure projects, and innovation. Like any financial institution, the Bank of Montreal encountered its fair share of challenges. It weathered economic recessions, including the Great Depression in the 1930s, and navigated through the storm of the 1980s, the Canadian real estate market collapse. Adapting to evolving regulations, and technological advancements, such as the digitalization of banking services, was also part of its journey. Yet amidst the hurdles, the Bank of Montreal celebrated remarkable triumphs. It expanded its operations, evolving into one of Canada's largest banks, offering an extensive range of financial products and services to individuals, businesses, and institutions. The Bank of Montreal has been a driving force in shaping the Canadian economy, leaving a lasting mark on various sectors. Through its financial services, the bank has fostered business growth, fueled investment, and nurtured entrepreneurship. Its support has been instrumental in propelling industries like manufacturing, agriculture, real estate, and energy, playing a pivotal role in economic development and job creation. The Bank of Montreal stands tall as a powerhouse in the Canadian financial landscape, captivating individuals, businesses, and institutional clients alike. 
With its unwavering presence in both domestic and international markets, BMO offers an impressive array of financial products and services that leave a lasting impression. In the captivating world of finance, the Bank of Montreal remains a true standout, constantly adapting to the ever-changing demands of the modern market. With their retail and commercial banking operations, international reach, commitment to digital transformation, and dedication to sustainability, BMO ensures they're not just keeping up, they're leading the way. Our final chapter brings us to the Little Inn, a hidden gem nestled in the picturesque village of Bayfield, Ontario. Steeped in history and dating back to 1832, this charming inn has been a beloved retreat from travelers from near and far. From its humble beginnings as a stagecoach stop the Little Inn has evolved into a haven of warmth and hospitality, offering a perfect blend of old-world charm and modern comforts. Situated in the heart of Bayfield, a heritage-protected village on the shores of Lake Huron, the Little Inn captivates visitors with its timeless beauty. Crafted from local buff brick, this designated heritage building stands as a testament to early Ontario architecture. The iconic two-story veranda, added in the 1980s, pays homage to the inn's original facade and proudly marks its place as a landmark on Bayfield's main street. Beyond its captivating exterior, the Little Inn is a cherished piece of local history. It served as a welcome respite for weary travelers along the Goddard to Grand Bend stagecoach route. Through the years, the inn has undergone renovations and expansions, transforming it into a cherished destination for those seeking solace, relaxation, and genuine hospitality. Throughout its storied history, the Little Inn has encountered and triumphed over numerous hurdles, demonstrating its unwavering dedication to preserving its heritage and delivering unparalleled service. As with any long-standing establishment, the Little Inn has faced its fair share of challenges. Economic fluctuations, such as recessions and fluctuations in tourism, have posed obstacles for the hospitality industry. Additionally, shifting travel preferences, evolving industry standards, and increased competition have required the Inn to adapt and remain relevant in a dynamic landscape. Yet against these odds, the Little Inn has thrived. Its unwavering commitment to exceptional service and the preservation of its historic allure has solidified its reputation as a cherished destination for travelers. The Little Inn has had a big impact on the local economy and community. While its scale may be smaller compared to larger establishments, its influence is undeniable. The inn has become an economic anchor for Bayfield and the surrounding region, drawing in tourists and visitors with its charm and reputation. As travelers flock to experience the inn's warmth and hospitality, they also contribute to the growth of local businesses in sectors such as accommodations, dining, retail, and recreational services. The ripple effect of the little inn's presence stimulates economic activity supporting jobs and livelihood in the area. In essence, the Little Inn may be small in size, but mighty in its impact. It continues to be a beloved establishment, fostering economic growth, nurturing the community, and preserving Bayfield's timeless charm. Today, the Little Inn remains a beloved destination for visitors seeking relaxation and a glimpse into the area's rich history. With its idyllic location and dedication to creating memorable experiences, the Little Inn continues to make its mark on the Canadian hospitality industry. Whether you're looking to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life or embark on an unforgettable adventure, the Little Inn awaits, ready to envelope you in its rich heritage and timeless charm, creating an enchanting haven that will leave you with cherished memories for years to come. This marks the end of an extraordinary voyage 
of several of Canada's oldest companies. Emerging from modest beginnings, the Hudson Bay Company, Molson Brewery, Bank of Montreal, and the Little Inn embarked on daring endeavors that propelled them to unparalleled achievements. These businesses flourished, growing from small roots into mighty giants. Join me next week as we delve into the fascinating world of Canadian companies in the fashion industry. From fashion houses to iconic brands, we'll uncover the stories behind their rise to success and their lasting impact on Canadian fashion.